Hi everybody, welcome to our official strategy guide for Field Runners 2, brought to you courtesy of GamerGuides.com. My name is Andrew Mills, author of the official strategy guide, and in this particular video we're going to take a look at the level high stakes on heroic difficulty, shooting for those three stars. Now, starting off the level, pause the game and place the turrets where you, where you see us placing them. We're not going to put too many turrets near the back of the map. We are effectively going to be focusing primarily on the spark tower. That is going to be the one tower that's going to generate the best results and the combos that we need. Where we've placed the towers, it is forcing the runners to run through the flames as much as possible. We're now literally pausing the game after every time we get at least $4 so we can upgrade the relevant towers that we need to. As you can see, quite a bit of frequent pausing at the start, but it's important that we ensure that we're up to level three on our turrets as quickly as possible. And that will then allow us to start our next part of the planet Earth. So here we go, we start getting ready to drop down the spark tires onto the map. And we're gonna create a big column of spark tires near the middle. Okay, towers are proven to be rather gun towers are proven to be fairly effective just now. Although we will start to add a few more towers as you can see now, just as a bit of a backup plan near the back of the map. Okay, time to refocus our attention now back on to the spark tower column that we've got going on on the left hand side of the map and it's time to now start upgrading those tires to deal as much damage as physically possible as quickly as possible and obviously these spark tires are going to generate quite a few combos which means we're going to get an airstrike in the not too distant future as well let's upgrade those tires at the back of the map just to make sure that we're not letting anybody sneak through and you will get this quite comfortably um, once we start adding a few more spark towers. So let's start adding a few more to some key areas a bit further into the map. Here we go. Okay, okay, that buys us some cash now for upgrading a few key spark towers to make sure our combos are as big as possible. Okay, so we've got enough money, we've got $15 now, we just need to get to 20 there we go. And we've got at least every spark tower now is, that on the front row is at level 2. We've now started dropping down a few ice towers to slow them down, meaning that they're much less likely to make it through the spark towers intact. And we do the same for the bottom of the map, upgrade that spark tower and start upgrading the ice towers as well as you can see the strategy isn't too difficult to emulate the placements is just giving enough space between for each spark tower to do the thing now we start closing the gap somewhat and we make it much more difficult for the runners to get through forcing them down the regular paths um, on the map and we're funneling them right down. Okay, we've also built up, <coughs> excuse me, we've also built up enough of an airstrike so we can use another one, which we will do in the not too distant future. But for right now, keep focusing on building up those spark tower reserves that you've got. Ok, 
okay spending all that cash wisely maxing out the ice towers that we have so they're all on level three meaning that those turrets are doing best but we're, we're already at 900 we haven't used that uh, the new airstrike yet and I, we're not really gonna need to use it just yet we've got such a strong defense now that our three stars is guaranteed and there we go congratulations you've got your three stars we've still got an airstrike to spare we've had no leaks on the map um, so we hope we have found the strategy to be of helpful and easy to replicate for yourself don't forget for more strategies like this you can view our official field runner guides on gamerguide.com exclusively for any feedback suggestions or if you just want to have a natter then follow us on twitter at gamerguide and also be sure to follow the subatomic developing team at field runners as well we look forward to seeing you soon take care bye bye